Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 acoustic guitars in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see their price and find out more information about these acoustic guitars, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Taylor 110E. The Taylor 110E is more of an entry-level guitar which produces premium high-quality sound without spending a lot of money. While some people might find it a more of a beginner choice, this guitar classifies as an excellent option for both beginners and professional players as well. Nonetheless, it can be suitable for just about anyone at any level. To start off, at the top the 110E includes a solid Sitka spruce top which is standard for tops these days due to its all-round good qualities. Considering that it's flexible, this guitar is surprisingly strong and produces a balanced range in terms of both tonality and dynamics. Additionally, the combination of the Sitka spruce top and Sapel laminate back and sides will deliver you a balance of top-end clarity and snap from the Sitka top along with the mid-tone warmth of the mahogany-esque Sapel laminate. Although it's not the same case with the neck, considering that it's made from mahogany, in this particular situation, mahogany is a great material for necks, so there's no doubt about the quality here whatsoever. What I also like about this guitar is the Bridgewood, since it's made from ebony, which is a great choice considering that ebony is a hard and dense material, which as we know, helps to transfer the energy from vibrations of the strings into the soundboard. To continue, we also noticed that the bridge, saddle, pins and nut were made from TUSQ, or Tusk. For your information, Tusk is a synthesized material that's made to replicate bone, which makes it a great addition because you can control the consistency in a synthesized material. During our research, we noticed that users were really satisfied and enjoyed the feel of the 110E's fretboard. The fretboard is made of ebony, which is typically seen on most of the high-end guitars. However, it may not be the same quality since there are different levels of quality, but again, Taylor is using the best ebony they can find. To sum up, the Taylor 110E is one of the few acoustic guitars that offers great value for the price, so we highly recommend you consider it and assure yourself of its quality. At number 4, it's the Martin D18. The Martin D18 is one of the best dreadnoughts that simply shows what an acoustic guitar is able to do. With a great sounding combo of solid sticker spruce top and mahogany sides and back, a smooth fingerboard, a bow nut and a saddle for improved intonation, and as you can see, we're talking about a high-end acoustic guitar that won't disappoint you in any aspect. To begin with, the D18 consists of a solid Sitka spruce soundboard with a fairly tight straight grain. Additionally, the back and sides are constructed from solid mahogany, while the two-piece back is separated by a simple black Bolteron pinstripe. Both the back and front are joined with tortoiseshell effect binding, which meets the pickguard, and the soundboard binding is expanded with uncomplicated black and white tinted Bolteron coach lining. Moving on, the one-piece mahogany neck is satin finished, which is suited to the body, implying a dovetail joint, and the fit and craftsmanship is first-rate. To be more specific, each joint, line and fixing is superbly finished, which means that Martin's expected high standards of presentation are reached, if not bettered. When it comes to the bridge, well, it's made of solid black ebony and it has the 30 style belly with a drop-in saddle. While the string spacing at the bridge is 2 to 3 sixteenths of an inch and the radius of the intonation compensated bone saddle is a flat feeling 16 inch. When it comes to tonality, well, this particular model of Martin Dreadnought is known for producing more crisp and smooth, powerful yet controlled tonality than its predecessors, reacting speedily with precision to the slightest change in dynamics. If you play this guitar softly, the tone becomes delicate and reasonable, while if you pick it harder, the top starts vibrating, giving you an idea of how quality this guitar can be. While if you strum with all your force, a beautiful natural confining transpires at the top and the body reaches the limit of its volume capabilities. Overall, the D18's price may not be affordable for some, but if you have the budget for it, don't hesitate to purchase it. 
because you'll be assured of its quality and performance and it'll last for decades until it's an antique for your children and your grandchildren. At number 3 it's the Martin D16 RGT. Like all other Martin guitars, the D16 RGT is a quality one that'll truly amaze you in every aspect. So let's not spoil it all in the beginning, we'll explain bit by bit and we'll get into detail as we look at what makes this guitar so special. As you can probably tell, the Martin D16 RGT is a dreadnought acoustic guitar that boasts a solid Sitka spruce top and East Indian rosewood back and sides, which basically defines it as a classic Martin dreadnought guitar. The top is furnished with a gloss finish, while the back and the sides are satin, which really gives a great look to the overall aesthetics. Additionally, the neck is solid Spanish cedar. Now, some of you may not be very familiar with the materials used, and some of the terms used to explain it looks and appearance, but nonetheless, they are remarkably durable and modern enough to give you that premium feel that you're looking for. Speaking of modern, the D16 RGT begins to deviate into non-traditional construction materials with its rich light fingerboard and bridge. The presence of rich light on guitars is kind of controversial among acoustic guitar purists, but nonetheless, it is more of an innovation. In addition, the guitar ships with a Corian nut and tusk saddle, while the sound hole is surrounded by a stripe and herringbone rosette, thus the fingerboard and sides feature white binding. Moreover, the Martin D16 RGT employs a solid headstock with chrome enclosed tuners, so this sums up everything about this guitar's appearance, which you can see it's indeed a unique masterpiece which shines with elegance. Now, when it comes to sound, with the D16 RGT you'll get rich, growling bass which is typical of a Martin Dreadnought guitar. However, no matter how slight the difference is, the D16 RGT provides a more balanced and nuanced tone than its standard series cousins. Moreover, the Martin D16 RGT does not include a pickup or onboard electronics. To conclude, the D16 RGT makes a great addition as an excellent instrument for guitarists who want to move towards a more professional grade instrument. At number 2 it's the Yamaha FG800. If you've been searching for a decent guitar with a high quality sound that comes at a reasonable price, then the Yamaha FG800 might be your ideal option. Let's get more into the details and reveal what's so special about this acoustic guitar. If you didn't know, the Yamaha FG800 is one of the best selling acoustic guitars of all time, and that's not by chance, it's due to its premium quality sound and remarkable construction. To begin with, this guitar comes in two versions, acoustic and acoustic electric, so you might want to think carefully about what you prefer, but hopefully, at the end of this review, we'll make it clear about any doubts you might have. When you choose the size, it comes as a dreadnought and a concert size. Either way though, no matter which one you choose, it's still a win-win. Now, similar to other guitars at this price range, the Yamaha FG800 has a standard neck that feels comfortable and smooth. While the Dreadnought piece originates with a solid Sitka spruce top, NATO back and sides, and a body that emphasizes a new scalloped bracing, making the top board more durable without reducing much of its ability to generate a great sound. Additionally, the FG800 boasts a sleek glossy finish, black and white multiply binding, and a faux tortoise shell pick guard on the face to give it some personality. Tonality wise, the sound is well balanced, while the dreadnought shape executes the sound particularly warm across the frequency range and especially in the lower and mid range. To be more specific, the FG series will endure to the point that the sound quality develops as it ages. Considering its price and sound quality, you really get more value for your money. For your information, the headstock is adorned with a set of sealed die cast chrome tuners that do their job very well as this guitar stays in tune. Meanwhile, there's a urea nut and saddle along with a standard rosewood bridge at the bottom, so as you can see, you'll be well assured with everything to make you feel confident. Overall, if a decent high quality acoustic guitar is what you've been looking for and you didn't have the budget for it, well maybe this is your answer. Due to the fact that the FG800 offers a lot more value than its extremely affordable price might convey. And at number 1 it's the Martin D28. As we did a couple of reviews on Martin guitars, you surely know what to expect. The D28 is a masterpiece, and the guitar itself is a unique design that's observed as a classic American design with its own selling point. To start off, it's important to mention that all of the parts that complete this guitar are Martin's own brand. While the D28 has been selling since 1930, you can be assured of its quality that's kept it going all this time. You'll know that this is a high-end guitar. 
Personally, I think the most eye-catching feature of the parts of this is the ebony fingerboard. And although you might find this on cheaper guitars, you know that this will have better quality, a higher density, which differs from those others. While the back and sides are made of East Indian rosewood, mahogany is a far more popular material to be used in such areas. Although you might find the parts a bit unusual, what makes this guitar really special is its construction. Now, in terms of tonality, if you think of every acoustic guitar sound that ever sent a shiver down your spine, roll them all into one, that's what you can expect from the D28. What's really special... Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.